all right it's june 1st 2022 we're in york south carolina to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state so let's get started and we're crossing over west madison right now you see the york presbyterian church over there and got a downtown music store here on the right yeah i just drove through this town it's a beautiful town if you come in from the direction we're walking now or the other directions beautiful stately homes coming in each side of town there just love those old homes like that i don't like what they've done here for this music music store it says welcome to our porch you can see it used to be a bank <laughs> i guess you could uh if it's a bar you could stick drinks through there i guess <laughs> but it's a music store and i imagine a lot of good tunes have been played up on that porch and i like this little instrument they got here laid out it's real nice a lot of people walking up and down the streets there's a woman just went by with her dog and when i was back there i talked to a woman about her house and she's been renovating just a beautiful house and she was happy to see me here walking around town to bring attention to these downtown areas and the businesses that are here 67 needs a little work but you can see those big windows on it those old shutters there those are some serious shutters right there metal yeah significant site york yorkville historical society yeah york used to be called yorkville and before that there's one of their alleyways they got it clean back there and some plants and things before that it was called ferguson's crossroads i believe fergus or ferguson's crossroads and uh had a tavern there this is the outdoor shop right here on congress street which is the main street through town it looks like yeah yeah but it a, had a tavern there and a lot of small towns all across this country the people moved out and about you know a tavern would have been the first building started there and they would have had a place for people to get food and eat and maybe sleep and things like that and a drink creative cuts here on the right I like their sign city York visitor parking yeah, they'd been kind of like the gas stations of the day, I guess. People stop in there as they go in between towns on the way from one place to another. You can get this one right here for rent. It's been a nice place. The building needs a little work, though. You got option one is hiring. It's a plumbing company. A little store here on the right, the village. There's the other side as we walk along. The summer concert series on the second and fourth Thursdays. We got food trucks, live music, beer garden, and games. So I guess they have that all up in here. And this is probably where their farmer's market is, I imagine. Got nice benches along the way. If you can see off on that other street back there, I can't remember the name of it. You'll find the town hall back there and the police station and fire stations on that road. We got places for you to bags for you to clean up after your dog yeah i like this town yeah but it's ferguson's ferguson or ferguson's you guys correct me if i'm wrong crossroads and had the tavern here and then of course when they made the county it was yorksville and uh it became the county seat for york county got southern pagoda this is how they got a nice I guess that's how you say that got a nice song in there nice and clean got a lot of objects in there to look at and buy this is a tuesday so i imagine they're closed today that's, that's what happens in a lot of these towns mondays and tuesdays insurance company there just a beautiful town on both sides of the street got this remax building looks like an old house there everything but the pearls at this shop yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday seems to be the time for these shops to be open. So if you come, remember that. Got another insurance company right here. Farm chicks. We're all in this together, South Carolina strong. I hope I said South Carolina when I started this, because I'm used to saying North Carolina. I'll know in a little bit. When I look back at my video, if I did, might have said York, North Carolina. I hope not. Welcome to Sweet Tea Refill Boutique and Custom Painting Printing. 
Got that wrong. Another nice building. And it used to be the Cobalt Ice Cream and Neely Drugs. So this was a drug store you can imagine. It had the, one of those uh, counters where you get those sodas and things like that. And the pharmacy where you'd have known the owner of the pharmacy. It's been great. This guy's looking like he's working in this building here. It is a beautiful building. Got that stone in it, got that place where the sign would hang out from the side and uh, things like that. Girl inside working on it, she waved. Got lavender, lemon, Pani, holistic spa. Probably a good place to go. You can make your own bottle lotion there and candles. Get you some juice, all that. Someone was out cruising on a motorcycle, so I saw another down the road there. It's a beautiful day for that. And I'm going to say chiropractic because this guy was smart and put out <laughs> the spine right there. That's the way you do your signs. That's awesome. All needs a little work, but they get old after a while. Yeah, we're in the historic district. 1776 when it all started for this town. <laughs> Got some pictures on the walls here. I like this one with the girls all in it. That might be... Good thumbnail right there. What do y'all think? I'm trying to just move it around here and there just to get it perfect. I like that. This is JK Studio painting photography. You see you got the paint cans with the cloth spilling out the top that look like paint colors. Got seating outside, an old white bench you can plop down in. Yeah, just beautiful little town quiet here on a Tuesday but I bet the weekends it's not Coleman's Trading Post and General Mercantile Store of Value that's been here a long time I'm sure beautiful beautiful y'all make sure you stop in there keep these businesses open that was a an historic site for sure they need you they need you need you to come here and support them if you're local and, in, and if you're a tourist like myself today be careful as you're walking along they got little steps going down and, up and down this building here oh I see the Sylvia the Sylvia theater I love that I love that Wow how many people went to a movie in there or just maybe if they're doing plays went to a play in there it's an awesome building I'm glad they got it yes yeah, right beside Coleman's Trading Post right there that we just talked about. Been here a long time, I'm sure. All right, let's continue on. Got L&A Hair Studios there. What a beautiful hair salon they got in there. This must be a dance studio. All the awards, Boogie Fever. All that, not an entrance. Looks like they got both sides here, for sure. Julie's Fancy Feet. I bet you bring your kid in here, Julia. Julia will have them dancing and hopping in no time, and they'll love it. There's a look back from the direction we just came. A little spin around here, as I like to do sometimes. Got solutions on the right here. I don't know what it is. So, sometimes I wish I lived in a... homemade curtains just like a gypsy an airstream I think that's what it said I couldn't read it there for a minute hmm. okay that's cool yeah here's solutions they got the number I'm just stepping back to see if anything's on top they got it painted up real nice but yeah, you need to let people know what you do in your name solutions doesn't tell me anything all these beautiful buildings they need some paint on some of them but they're all right I guess bookstore here that's great. I love to see a bookstore in town. Sidewalks are nice and wide. I bet they have some great parades down through here. <laughs> here we got the more bidding. You used to put your papers and packages down there on the bottom. I don't know. You can see that. Got that great tile work you would have had. There, that package is over here now though. <laughs> Guess they don't do it anymore. That would have fit. For sure. Yeah, I don't know what this was. You guys live here. Let me know what this building was. A couple of different shops now, but I imagine it was one big building at one time, one business. Why not here? Yeah, why not? Shop designs there, that's great. 
Why not go in there? I like that name. Haley's Grove Farm. Turkey eggs, dog treats, dug eggs, chicken eggs. Follow us on Instagram. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. I'm gonna put that down there for him because I love his independent businesses. You know that. If you've been following my channel. So this building is another building they're redoing in there. You can see the long how long it was got the shelves on the side could have been an old grocery store at one time or something like that so i hope they do something good with it yeah i see good things coming to this town for sure unique old finds in this building bet bet witched studios at art supplies so if you're an artist and need supplies you can come in here and get that and these doors right here on the right we always talk about them they go to the buildings on top which Luckily, they still have all their windows. I like that. But it's locked up tight right now. York Nutrition's here on the right. And uh, they're in bed. It's just closed today. Like I said, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Used to have a little drop box here. <laughs> all these buildings. Before there was electronic communication. Yeah, paper mail was big, of course. Yeah, First North Congress Street. Fish Hippie. This store. Fish Shipping Company. Got a hat right there. It's kind of odd inside. I'm trying to see. It's got an outer and inner area and it's empty. But they got these stores out here, so I don't know what's going there, going on there. So you guys let me know if you know. But I don't. I'm up here. Oh yeah. Up here. Getting ready to cross over. Liberty Street. The South Congress, where the courthouse is. There's town, uh, city halls down there, like I said. Uh, historic York. Let's check this out. Through this intersection, originally called Fergus. Yeah, there we go. I had it wrong. Fergus Crossroads. Half past General Thomas Sumter, the Gamecock General Daniel Morgan, hero of Cowpens, Lord. Cornwallis, British commander at Yorktown. Colonel, I can't even say his name, Tarleton, British commander at Cowpens, William Sims, South Carolina author and historian George Bancroft, an historian, General Jenkins, CSA, President Jefferson Davis, and the Confederate cabinet in 1865, General and Governor Wade Hampton. This corner was probably witnessed, has probably witnessed the passing of more historic men than any spot in the up country of South Carolina. Whew, after reading that, I believe it. <laughs> I don't know how I got through that. We've got a beautiful tree right here to be under the shade, and I tell you, it does feel good. Yeah, when they, York County erected, and when they became a county, they had a statute that said every county should have a, a county seat and a courthouse. And in their history, they talked about how it also they were required to have uh, uh, stocks and a, a whipping post and all those things. But that they had during Brita, but during the before we came. Blah, 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 now my tongue's getting tired. Before we became a country, that's how they kind of handled things. So thank goodness we don't do that anymore. We have laws and the Constitution that protects us, all of us as individuals. We don't have to be a member of no group to get justice. Our laws protect. Us each and every one of us. And uh, over the years, we've hadn't always done the right thing, but these days, I think we're doing pretty good. All right. There have been three courthouses here so far. Yet, yeah, during the Revolutionary War, this place was situated between two major battles, the Battle of Kings Mountain and the Battle of Williamson's Plantation, if I got that correct. And this county was the only undefeated county in South Carolina during the Revolutionary War. Yeah, just beautiful walking down through here. I love these trees. I'm gonna go out to this little building on the left here and we'll probably turn around and come back. York Wedding Chapel. I've never seen a wedding chapel that looks like that, but I guess it's a, bit, it's a big event center now, of course. We'll check it out when we come back. Yeah, I think this town deserves a walk back for sure. Yeah, we're getting out on the outer edge here, but there's a little building up here on the left, so I'm going to jump ahead to go see what that is. Here's a closer look at that building. Looks like there was a building here before called the Brighton House site. And uh, looks like 
there was a lawyer in here and then later on a surgeon um, yeah James Rufus Bratton a surgeon in the Confederate Army and the area was raised in 1956 so that really didn't tell me what it is now it still looks like a fairly old building though but anyway I keep going back into town now there's a look back at the other side of the courthouse another beautiful brick building you can tell it's been here a while and you hit these shade trees it makes such a difference every time these be beautiful old growth show you trees <laughs> you know that one's about seeing better days though they have to replace it but you know don't just be planting they got new ones here but they need to get them get to, to good size uh, if you watch my shelby and forest city town center videos you'll know how much i love trees that's got big enough to offer that kind of shade it's the Greeley counseling services in this building here different businesses but i don't know what the building itself was it's got some rod at the top they need to take care of before it gets too worse or it'll really cost them anybody knows what this building was if you're from this town let us know in the comments below i always like to hear about those things this is the folkways community development corporation in this part of it and you can see more rot all the way across there it would be a shame to let it go just because you didn't fix that water problem on the right here which was once an old gas station they've converted it into a bakery coffee shop and cafe i love the way they did that love the way they got the bushes where the old pumps would have been some benches over there right beside that little free lending library This next building looks old too. You can see it from the side there. Uh-oh, hear the horns. Somebody's in a rush. Getting mad at the truck, but the truck's gotta get out. <laughs> you can't just cut him off. <laughs> People, we need to respect these truck drivers. They stop rolling, we're in trouble. I love the way this moss. Ooh, he's good. Let's let him go by just a minute, he's loud. Loud, loud, loud. He's probably mad right now because I blew the horn at him. I would be too. But they, this moss has grown on this uh, fence here, a wrought iron fence. Gives it a good aesthetic there. <laughs> right on top, we got a little rabbit. See? There he is, old rabbit. Just beautiful back there. Plenty of parking looks like back there. And it's a significant sight. Yorkville Historic Society, I've said this before, they put these things here, but below them they should put what the building was. I shouldn't have to go online when I'm walking through your town to know what this is. You know, I love towns that actually put the history out in the open. There's a York Wedding Chapel now. I guess it's a big event center, but you can tell. Got these big shutters. They look, almost look original, they might be, for all I know. But yeah, that's something, but you know, definitely want to Put what the building was. Put what it was. All right, let's look at this courthouse from over on this side while this family comes by. They've done a great job there. You can see on the top that, how that's turned green up there from that copper, I guess. And uh, see what that says right there. Yeah, York County Courthouse. They got beautiful trees there. There's that family going by. I just wanted to look at this side too. You can say, oh, okay. Look in there. Let's go down here and see if we can look through the gate. Now I know why people want to have weddings here. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful place to have a wedding here in town. We got a building big enough to do it. That's great. I missed it on my turn, but look at that church down there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. Look at that beautiful church poking through there. Just beautiful. All right, here's another building you can tell. Been here a long time. I guess that's the fire escape going up the side there. Another big steeple off of the distance. You'll find that in all these towns, these beautiful churches. Again, whoever owns this building is letting this rot. That is not good. And uh, I can use some better landscaping. Beautiful old doors. 
and it is another historic site but no info on it they could have a nice plaque with maybe old pictures and stuff that met from the museum uh, west jefferson had a whole fence with old historic pictures that were protected by the weather outside as you could just see as you was walking by and i think that's a great idea yeah you can see that was a big three-story business at one time whatever it was i imagine had all kinds of businesses in it over the years and if i had to guess you know i always try to guess fmb First National Bank. Yeah, it says it right on top. I don't have to guess. The bank right there. Let me go down this. See what they got down here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go too far. It looks like there's a few little businesses down there. But we're going to stay on the center. Stay on the center. Let's cross real quick. Yeah. Get on the other side before we get run over. This looks like a martial arts studio right here in this building. This says this Saturday D and D. So yeah, so I sell trade toys and games in there, so that's cool. I can't. It's big dark because I got it set for the light out here, so I'm not gonna reset my exposure. But you get the idea. Another. This is Santa Terry Six Barbershop. In this old building there and they're working on it yeah got these beautiful old windows in here love it love it there's the other side we just walked up earlier soco grill got a sign and that's it right there cafe and gifts well, guess you go back there too 10 11 events venue they do parties and weddings too well the glare is on my screen today so i hope i'm keeping these shots in focus here we are around two o'clock here at the city of york congress street farm congress street pharmacy right there i don't know what this is used for but i can imagine they have a little concerts or something out there during their events got the wing king here on the right you can get some good hot wings in there. Pass blue ribbon, $1.75. Got some yellow chairs out here in front of this store. Southern Dandy. I've got some nice stuff for your kids in there. Great little store. Got healthy dog food and grooming. Yeah, a lot of towns will have these pet stores in them now. Glad to see that. Life in Balloon Boutique. What a beautiful display they got there. Got an elephant down there holding some balloons and a teddy bear. Yeah, just love their signage here. That, that looks good and their light posts look nice. Yeah, got a salon right here. It's your attitude. This building right here, Congress Street Executive Center, got some lawyers in there conference center for you there's a look back Neil drug over here. Neely drug is it Neely drug I think and that building had all the stone we looked at just love that got this store here some nice flowers outside but it's empty in there looks like somebody's renting it for a little vent but it's not a store of anything that I can tell got Remax in this house we looked at across the street they've taken that over and kept that up that's great <laughs> this building's got a night depository box on the side of it i wonder what it was okay this is the brandon house anybody know the history on that let us know be interested in it yeah this is tony pizza tony tony's pizza now and then we got rosetta's right here mexican grill plenty of restaurant offerings here in town We got primary eye care, and you know he's an eye care guy because he's got some glasses on his own. <laughs> and got a Hoyt Forester Forestry con Consultants there. As we get on out out of town again, back on this side, 
Yeah, there's City Hall over there. There's some of the buildings we walked up on the left side. We got another little shop here that says welcome. Cornerroost.com. Make sure you come in and check these people out. Got a good display here in the windows. And they will rent some space in there too, so they must do that space rental thing. If you got some crafts you want to sell. And then they got this building on the end. It's got some motorcycles in there and cars. I guess it's some kind of shop of some sort, but I don't see a name. So here's one more look back at this beautiful town center here in York, South Carolina. I hope you enjoyed the walk and talk tour. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.